So in this video, I'm going to talk about what a FL gap is and how you can spot FL gaps within price. But before we get into the video, if you'd like to engage with other traders, you can join my Discord link in the description. It's totally free. And I'm also not going to go in details on all the ki different kinds of strategies you can use with a FL gap, as then this video would be an hour long. So now let's go over how a FL gap looks like. So over here we see that from this candle low to this candle high, from the wick's low to the high of the wick, we create this kind of gap. If you extend it out from the low to the high, we create this kind of gap. And this gap is called a Favelli gap. And over here to the right, we see that from the low of the candle to the high, we don't really create a gap because the wicks are overlapping the body. As you see, so this right here is not a Favelli gap, but over here, this is a Favelli gap. So just a short bullish example of what a Favelli gap looks like. We see we have the high of the candle up to the low of the candle. This creates the Favelli gap. As you see, there is a kind of gap from the high to the low of the wicks. And over here, we see this is not a Favelli gap as the wicks are overlapping the body from the high up to the low. So this is what a further gap looks like over here, and this is what it don't look like. So now let's go into the charts and find some examples on how we can use this further gap. So for our first example, we see that we have created this bullish value gap right here. As you see, this was this kind of gap that I talked about before, as the wicks are not overlapping the body, creating this kind of gap. So in that case, this is a bullish further gap. And a bullish value gap is called a busy buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. And that means that buy side was offered, but sell side wasn't. As we know, this is a bullish value gap. So in that case, this is a busy. And as we see, there are a lot of busies in this leg right here. So how do we know which bullish value gap or busy we should use? And in that case, we could determine a premium and a discount. So we can go from a low all the way up to a high to determine the premium and the discount. And we want to be looking for a value gap within the discount. And as you see, we have two value gaps right here, but this one is the closest to the 0 0.5 range and it is also within the discount. So in that case, I would just prefer to use this one. And as we see price, goes down into this busy. So in that case, if we were to take a trade entry, we could enter right when price touches the high of the busy and put a stop loss where we think the idea of this busy would be invalidated. But of course, we also have a further gap down here. So in that case, we could put our stop loss at this swing low down here. And then we would target buy side liquidity, which would be up here. So now let's see how this plays out. So we see price reaches deeper into this busy, but fails to, to touch this busy right here and does not stop us out at this swing low and then goes all the way up to the buy side liquidity. But in my opinion, I wouldn't really take this busy setup or bullish value gap as we have multiple bullish value gaps. So in that case, I wouldn't know which one would work and I would have to wait for confirmation. And we also see the price creates a balanced price range, which, is, which in this case is also a confirmation for higher prices. And a balanced price range is when we have a bearish value gap or a SIBI, sell side and balanced buy side inefficiency. That means sell side was offered, but buy side wasn't. So in this case, this is a SIBI. And when we also have a busy right here. You'll, you see, we also have a bullish value gap. When these two are paired with each other or are within each other, it creates a balanced price range. So a inversion value gap and then a value gap. So a SIBI and then a busy. That creates a balanced price range. And that leads to a confirmation for higher prices, taking out the buy side liquidity up here.
So for our next example, we see that price has started to react off of this busy, which is a bullish fair value gap. So over here, we see price started to react off this busy. So instead of taking this trade right here on the 15 minute of this bullish value gap, we can go into the five minute and find a trade entry. And we see the price has taken out the 9 a.m. low. So in that case, we can target the 9 a.m. high because we both swept liquidity and we have a busy, which price reacted off of the, on the five minute, no, sorry, 15 minute. So in that case, now we want to look for the first fairly gap that forms because we took out the 9 a.m. low. So we want to find the first fairly gap that forms and it has to be a busy. And we see right here, price forms a bullish value gap, so a busy. And in that case, we could take a trade entry as it is the first value gap. And it, it is also within the New York AM kill zone, which is until 11 AM. So in that case, let's take a trade entry right when we touch the busy. And Right here, we see the price made a retracement, and originally we could have entered at the top, but in this case it was all the way down here. So let's just say a way to enter at the top of the busy, and then put my stop loss at this low, and then target the 9 a.m. high, because we took out the 9 a.m. low, so then the 9, 9 a.m. high would be the draw on liquidity. So now let's speed, speed price through, and see if we could manage to take out the 9 a.m. high. So right here we took out the 9 a.m. high in the p.m. session. But that doesn't matter, just as long as we find the value gap within the a.m. session. So now for the next example, we see the price took out buy side liquidity and we really didn't make a lot of dis displacement above the buy side liquidity. So in that case, we can anticipate lower prices. So now we want to be looking for a value gap. So right here we create a fairly gap, which is a sippy. So let's see if price can make a retracement up into the sippy and then go lower, targeting sell side liquidity down here. We see the price makes a retracement up into the SEBI, so now we would anticipate sell side liquidity to be ran. And we see sell side liquidity gets ran, and all this happened within the AM session. So, right when the AM session started, price made a retracement up into the SEBI and then took out sell side liquidity. There is also something called the consequent encouragement, which is the 0 0.5 range of the Favali gap, or in this case, it's a busy. So we see this right here, the middle line is the consequent encouragement. And we see price makes a retracement down into the consequent encouragement and then takes out internal raised liquidity or buy side liquidity up here. So basically the consequent encouragement we usually see gets respected or it gets respected by the bodies. When using the rectangle tool, which looks like this, you can find the consequent encouragement by going into the settings and then pressing on the middle line. Then you can see the consequent encouragement or the midline of the box gets shown. So when we have a volume balance and a further gap, we mark out the whole range because then we can see the true consequent encouragement. And as you see, the body of the can this candle respects the consequent, consequent encouragement. And then right after that, we get a immediate reaction to the downside. And after that, we create another value gap, which price respects, as we see right here. 
and then go slower, taking out sell side liquidity. So something I like to see when looking for a value gap is when price respects the top of the value gap with the body. So we see price moves through this value gap right here, and then we think we probably think this is getting inversed, but then price respects it just at the tick with the body right at the top of the further gap but in this case it's a bearish further gap so a sippy so we see price respects the top of it with the body and then we go lower taking out sell side liquidity and then we see price makes a retracement up into the further gap again and respects it and then go even lower as you see so that's something i like to see is the body respects respecting the top of it not inversing the favela gap so that was it for this video and i really hope you liked it and if you did please consider liking and subscribing and if you, there's anything you didn't understand or if you have any questions please comment down below and if you like to engage with other traders you can join my discord link in the description is totally free